The UK has focused upon particular areas of space technology. Uh, we focused upon environment, we focused upon space science, we fo focused upon global navigation, we focused upon telecommunication. Uh, the one area that we are not in is, of course, uh, human exploration. And we're also not in uh, the big rocketry. But uh, apart from that, we're in every aspect of space technology. Well, when you look at what we do um, in financial terms, we are oh, quite a way down uh, below our economic weight because we're not involved in those very expensive aspects of, of human uh, spaceflight and rocketry. But when you look at what we do in the areas where we specialise, there we are punching at our economic weight and often above our economic weight in terms of the, uh, the impact that we have upon what's happening. We're recognised as being very leading players in space science, uh, telecommunications and environmental uh, work in particular. Uh, the Beagle mission to Mars uh, took place with Colin Pillinger as the main promoter. At the time I was head of the British National Space Centre so I had to work very closely with the Minister, Lord Sainsbury at the time, as we decided how much finance we put in and how we had contributed to the management of the project. So I worked very closely with uh, Colin Pillinger and Lord Sainsbury over the period of the mission. Uh, I was responsible, if you like, for the management uh, working with the European Space Agency. In the past, space has been almost entirely funded by the public sector. Mm. It's been governments which have paid for it because it has been so difficult and expensive and has often been associated with military technology and uh, things that the private sector isn't able to get involved in. But it's quite clear that in the future, costs are going to come down. They have to come down to produce the full benefits. And more and more companies, private companies, are going to become involved. In the UK, um, Surrey Satellites has been producing uh, satellite systems for other countries without... Uh, any r significant support from the UK government. I think they had launched something like 20 satellites before they got the first money from the British space programme. Uh, and I hope we'll see more companies entering uh, the space sector, providing services based upon say, space information and exploring the way in which they can find cheaper options for getting things into space and using information that comes from space.